Hi Virgo. Um, you know, it's really funny. I wanted to light my candle before we started, so we'll just do it together. Um, we're going to do this really intuitive, super, super intuitive. We'll talk about the planets if we need to, but, um, what's really interesting is Mars moves out of Libra. I almost feel like there's this collective Virgo sigh of relief. Um, and Mars will be leaving Libra sometime this week. So, um, and this is the first week of October, October that I'm doing the reading. Um, I think the biggest thing right now is for you to not put so much pressure on yourself to um, force things to happen, right? You want to be, this is a time of pause. You've given so much of your energy in the last couple of months because, um, you know, we had, when we come into our season, we just, we work, work, work. Like, that's what we do. It was really funny in the beginning of Virgo season, I thought, oh my God, Virgo season is taking forever. Like, it feels like things are happening at a snail's pace right now. And then we hit Libra season and everything started to get a little bit lighter and lift up a little bit more, but that's when the exhaustion set in. Because even though everything was moving really slowly, you were still working. You were still, you know, it, and so, whoa. And so now, apparently those are the things that, in order for you to gather yourself for your next move, time to be on pause. So we have the hanged man, the six of pentacles, the two of wands, the fool, the devil, and there you are, queen of pentacles. this month where you're placing your energies and so so that you can be smart about the next moves that you're making there are going to be some moments in the coming months and probably towards more towards the end of october where you're going to have to take some risks put yourself out there a little bit more um find new directions to go in right? You need to start giving your energy to the future, still being very present, right? But we're planners. That's what we do. The thing is, is while you're planning for things in your future and the things that you want to come down, to go down in your future, you have to make sure that you are staying present and still feeling really good in the now, in the present moment, right? You see what I mean? So the hanged man is asking you to be on pause right now. Take a moment to collect yourself. It was a very busy Virgo season. Um, even though it went kind of slowly for me, it was still a very busy September. And now that we're in, and, and I and I know for myself, I gave quite a bit of myself. And it's very interesting because I've started to realize that when I'm giving myself my, my energy and I'm giving my all to my purpose and what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing, I have more energy to do it. But I still need to be very aware of the times that I need to take a step back. And so that's one of the things that um, you're going to be asked to do. The universe is literally either you're placing yourself on pause or the universe will do it. And Virgos don't like it when they're on forced pause. You know? Um, and in order for you to be more confident about the direction that you're going... Now is the time to kind of take a step back. There are also some very, 
I'm curious about this devil energy because I want to say that there are some uh, karmic lessons that you're learning from this Capricorn Saturnian energy. Whether you are going through your Saturn return, which means you're probably about 28 to 30 years old right now, or you are um, dealing with a Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like you have questions regarding this, this um, Saturnian lesson here. And I feel like the only way that you're going to have, you're going to be able to answer those questions is if you get quiet and ask your higher self what to do. You know, um, one of the things that I'm, I am trying to incorporate into all of this is teaching people how to align themselves to the, to living their best life and living their purpose. So doing self-alignment courses um, in October. The first one is this Saturday on October 5th. And it's so interesting how it all evolved, where I had to learn a very valuable lesson a couple of months ago and become realigned. And within that, this evolution of, oh man, this is, this is how I need to teach my alignment courses. It's, to it's not 100% different, but there are qualities of it that are different than what I was than like what I was already teaching because I didn't realize how out of alignment I was in certain aspects of my life, and it was very Saturnian aspects where my Saturn lies in my birth chart. It was so those lessons were very hard for me to learn, and I finally had that holy crap aha moment. A couple of months ago and I love when I am teaching other people as I am learning myself and I feel like that's exactly and it's so funny because I don't do readings where I project my life into them and I don't feel like this reading is a hundred percent for me but there are some aspects of this that I could really look at and be like Virgos are really going through this evolutionary process when it comes to, um, it, it's like the lesson that they're learning right now is to stop giving so much of themselves when they're not giving back to who they are, when they're not when they're not aligned with who they are or giving back to themselves. You got to pull it back, and that's a lesson. And sometimes when we recognize that that's what we're doing, it's like, oh wow, oh, okay, I get it now. But sometimes you have to get there first. You have to get to that moment of, oh, yeah, okay, I get it now, before you can really understand that's what it is. And so let's see what this hanged man is. Because they feel like either you are putting yourself on pause or you, it could vary. And I feel, I feel this for some of you. Um, maybe you're tired of fighting with the Pisces. That could be some of you. Um, but with the nine of wands, this is why you're needing to take a step back because you're tired. You're tired of the struggle. You're tired of fighting. And one of the things that I'll be teaching on Saturday is how struggling, even though it may look like that's how you're making yourself successful and that's how you're manifesting the success in your life is by pushing yourself really, really hard and struggling to get there. That's not how you become successful. Yes, for some people it has worked, but are they happy? Are they... Um, do they have anxiety disorders with that struggle? You know what I mean? If you feel like you're a person that feels like you can only manifest from a place of suffering, Saturday's class is definitely for you. Because you don't have to fight so hard to get your desires in life. Sometimes we're fighting for desires 
that are not actually the ones that we're supposed to have. We think that's what we want. We think that's what we're supposed to have. I'll be back. Give me one second. Okay. So we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles asks you where you're placing your energy. Are you giving it to people, places, and things that are giving back to you? Or are you giving it to people, places, and things that are just draining you more, right? Um, I feel like I really want to say with this Ace of Wands, let the universe guide you. In this resting period in this resting time where you're giving your energy back to yourself the universe is going to give you opportunities and sort of like signs right and with these opportunities and with these signs i feel like this is where you're going to have to take the risk but you but you're going to have to be in in you it, it'll be in those quiet moments that you're taking for yourself right that's when this ace of wands gift from the universe will show up is when you're giving back to yourself during those silent moments during those quiet moments like i'm very much thinking of how when I go for my walks in the morning, um, it's become such a daily habit for me to go for a walk in the morning. That's where I do my best thinking. You know how some people do their best thinking in the shower? I do my best thinking when I'm, and I call it communing with God. And when you're giving back to yourself where you're breathing in fresh air and you're grounding yourself in nature and you're going for that hike or you're going, I mean, we're Virgos. When you are connected straight to God, whether that's in nature, whether that's at the ocean, whether that is in your living room with your shrine, with your altar, right? Wherever that is for you, because I feel like you're not going to be able to see the answer clearly. See the two of swords on the two of wands. I like to call the two of swords. She's blindfolded Sally. Because you're, you're at a crossroads of what next, what to do next, but you're getting signs from the universe, clear indications and clear signs from the universe on what direction to go in, but you can't hear them or see them because you're not paying attention. You're too busy. That's why you have to be on pause. That's why you have to stop working 60 hour weeks. But Betsy, how am I going to make money if I don't work 60 hour weeks? Is it worth it? I used to do that, work 60 hour weeks. And it was really exhausting and it I always felt like I was searching for more when there was never more there. Sure, there was more money, but that more money just, I mean, it just paid another bill, right? It just bought something that I probably forgot about or sold in a garage sale. You see? And it's not... And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to have items, to live in a pretty house, to live with a nice car, have nice clothes. I mean, obviously, I like my surroundings to be comfortable. And, and I mean, being a Virgo, we like to have our surroundings be comfortable, right? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to have all that stuff. But if you're only working for, for more stuff, and, and you feel like you're just on survival mode all the time, something's got to change. Something has to change. You see? 
Um, so we have the Queen of Cups on the Fool. I've, you know, I, yes, some of you may be dealing with a water sign. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign that you, you want to take a risk on. Do I take a risk on this water sign? I feel like it's a karmic situation. Um, I feel like what you're, what you're doing right now is extremely, uh, Venus square Pluto that we're going through this week. That's, that's what I feel like this combination right here is. Okay. So that's for some of you with the water sign. For some of you, the risk that you have to take to learn this next new valuable lesson is going to force you um, to look, to be more, to, to come from your intuitive side, right? To, um, I can't think of the word that I want to say. Um, I'm just going to say it. You have, you're going to have to be emotional, Virgo. Eee. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say it. I was like, oh my God, telling a Virgo to be emotional. Because we are loving, right? We are so loving. Excuse me. <laughs> um, we will heal you and love you to the end. But to be honest and open about our emotional state can get very ugly. <laughs> because a Virgo will hold, they, sometimes they don't even realize that they have emotions that, need, that they need to release. Right? Sometimes as a Virgo, you don't even recognize that you're holding it in. Because you distract yourself so you don't have to feel it. Right? But... Here's the thing, though, is when it come, when it starts to come out, it's like this release of what, uh, it, like the toxicity that you've been holding on, that you've been holding on to, the toxicity within yourself that you've been holding on to, the, the working too much, the being too much all the time kind of thing. And October is asking you to see where you are giving way too much of yourself and where you need to pause, where you need to, and where you need to allow yourself to have fun or enjoy your own company, enjoy somebody else's company. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with um, getting prepared for, I mean, we're, we're coming to the end of the year, right? And we just, in harvest season, we just got done with our season. It was a lot of work. It's time to pause. Just take a minute to breathe. That's what October is asking of you. So let's see what this devil energy is. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Some of you are going to have to face something that has to do either with your mom or a motherly figure or maybe your mom. There could be some lessons that you're learning. Um... when it comes to familial relationships in October. Um, the other thing that I'm feeling with the Empress energy on the devil is that the one, some of the lessons that we're having to learn right now is just how much we do offer right the empress is somebody who's very creative she is very independent she's mother earth she gives life she gives creation and you have to see th that part of yourself and recognize and realize how 
important you are in other people's lives. Um, the other thing is, is some people may be starting some new creative endeavors with work that may be very shocking to them, right? I do feel like there's going to be a lot of new creative energy and new energy flow after a time of rest. Um, pace yourself. I really, really, really want you to pace yourself. And um, pace yourself because you love yourself. Don't force yourself to do things um, in a way that's going to exhaust, like just totally and completely exhaust you. Uh, also, some of you could be moving towards or away from a fire sign. We have the King of Wands, the Chariot, and Justice. And we also have the Six of Cups. So it with the Nine of Cups, this is something that you've been waiting for, I feel like. Um, definitely feels like something from the past. You've been waiting for either communication or some kind of movement from a fire sign. Could even be a water sign, too. Um... But I feel like with justice, it's like, it's time. Like, this is something that you've been wanting, you've been manifesting, and I do feel like somebody is going to show back up. Again, I want you to pace yourself. In all endeavors in October, really, really pace yourself. Just, um, if, if nothing else, but for your own peace of mind that you're you're not skipping steps to get somewhere. Because usually when we skip the steps to get somewhere, it's very difficult to get back on track. You know? Um, I love you guys. So we're doing the self-alignment course on Saturday. I was trying to see if there were any other messages. I'm not getting anything else. Um, we're doing the self-alignment course on Saturday. Um, we do have the weekly meditation and Reiki healing circles that happen on Sundays or new moons and full moons. So we have one this Sunday that's going to focus on healing and self-love and self-forgiveness, um, self-empowerment. And then we'll have the full moon and Aries one on the 13th. And then another one the following week. So join us for that. They've been extremely powerful. Um, I do have people register and pay a very small fee because we only want to keep positive energy in that Reiki healing circle. And um, so, yeah. Um, uh, what else? Oh, the six-month forecasts for 2020 are available for pre-order. If you get your... Six month forecast now, there's only a limited amount for the first half of November. And um, you will also receive not just January through June in 2020, but you'll also get December. So if you pre order that now, all of that's in the description box or on my website, fearlessintuition.net. I love you all. Oh, and the jewelry. Make sure these green jade onyx rings are going pretty quickly as well so we have three sizes six seven and eight get your ring today all right guys i love you so much have a wonderful wonderful october and take really good care of yourselves bye